Good afternoon, everyone. We are starting the Thursday off with a brand new release. What came out yesterday? 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball 12 box. Pick your team number two. We've got more in the store, so check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Here are the people involved in this break right here. Thursday the 5th, 12 box. Pick your team two. 17-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. There's everyone right here. Good luck. We have... Jeremy with that last spot mojo right there. Thanks, Jeremy Anderson. You're a wizard, Jeremy. They play at Hogwarts, you know. All right. Here is the case. Optic basketball was the case that they gave me. All right, let's see what we got, folks. If you're, wa you're re-watching this on YouTube, obviously you can... Fast forward through this. I usually show off the hits again at the end of every box. Unless you want to play the redemption game. All right, box number one. Good luck. Now, uh, one of our guys, Mark Bellinger, was at the Jazz game yesterday. He says that... Uh, He's all excited about Donovan Mitchell now. Wants, wants me to pull one of his hits. EA would like that. Eric would like that very much. He has the jazz in this one. Uh, he says he has to work on his foul shots, though. Don't, don't all the kids need to work on the foul shots? I feel like all the kids these days, all the young kids, need to practice foul shots. But the rookie class has certainly, we've, we've talked about this, I talk about this every basketball break I do. The rookie class this year has been pretty fantastic. A lot of players playing really well. Some players playing great. So all, the, all, that, is, all, the, all that is good for the hobby. Good for us, good for you, good for me. right there, Donovan Mitchell. Playoffs are around the corner. Playoffs. So we're getting to a pretty exciting part of the NBA season. Remember, vet base doesn't ship in this, but uh, there's actually not a lot of vet base. Most of the stuff you'll be getting. A lot of rated rookie cards. That you'll be getting a lot of inserts, a lot of parallels, so you'll be getting a lot of this stuff. Obviously, all the all the veteran cards that are are uh, parallels will obviously ship. One autograph per box. Let's see, what we got in this one. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. some room here. All right. There's De'Aaron Fox, rated rookie. Justice Winslow, hollow. And Patrick Beverly, orange. So we'll top load all these up at the end of the break right here. But that is 007. Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, out of 199 for the Clippers. We've got Eric Jennings in the clip show. Mario Chalmers. Uh, Carmelo Anthony Hollow. We got DeMontis Sabonis Lime Green. 65 out of 175. TJ, what's going on, man? Pacers. That'll be for Jesus with the Pacers. We were talking about Yusef Nurkic the other day. He's going to be a restricted free agent at the end of the season. I'm not sure if the Trailblazers have the cap room to keep him, but that's a Blazers fan say that, that they're gonna they're gonna do what they can to keep them. They'll make it work. There's Doug McDermott, Knicks edition out of ninety nine. Devin Reed, rated rookie hollow. There's Bam out of bio as well for the Heat. I'll pull some of these rated rookie cards from the bigger names and make sure they get top loaded.
Logan's asking how, how much is one of these per box? I honestly don't know. 100, 100 or so American dollars a box, maybe a little bit more. Honestly, I have no idea what the local hobby shops are selling it for per box. So that's not a hollow. The hollow versions, I think, uh, definitely have greater value on a secondary market, but those rated rookie cards are pretty solid. There's Clay Thompson, Swishful Thinking, 008 out of 175, Lime Green. For the Warriors, Eric Bailey. There's another Dennis Smith Jr. Josh Hart, Vince Sanity. Where is our autograph? I like this Malik Monk too. There it is. I was getting nervous. Devin Reed, rated rookie on card autograph for the Suns. Michael K with that one. There he is again. That that one is a hollow. Hollow. See the refractoriness of it. Awesome. Great start. That was box one. Devin, read your autograph. A lot of nice parallels here, too. Next box. Good luck. Like I said, we have more basketball in the store right now. So check it out. A lot more Donruss Optic Basketball available. Pick your teams in a full case break. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of great value in here. No basketball at the moment. I think the first game of the day is about to start. That would be who's on the schedule today. Golden State is at Indiana. Then Brooklyn is at the Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks. Houston hosting the Trailblazers in about an hour. Wizards are going to be at Cleveland. Cleveland playing some good basketball as of late. I think Tyron Lue is back in action today. Clippers facing the Jazz tonight. They're in Utah. Clippers have a very narrow chance to get a playoff spot. So I know they'll, they'll be playing pretty tough tonight. And the Timberwolves or in Denver tonight. That's the late game. Big basketball news. Kyrie Irving out for the rest of the season and the playoffs. So they lost Gordon Hayward very, very early in the season. And now at the end of the season, they're losing Kyrie Irving. Um, what does that mean for the Celtics? not good for the Celtics. Unless unless this guy, Jason Tatum, just balls out in the playoffs, that would be good for the hobby. Not good for me as a Lakers fan, but it would be good for me because we're in the hobby. All right, Caleb Swanigan leads things off. There's Ben Simmons. He might be Rookie of the Year. Champions here, Kevin Durant, 36 out of 49 for the Warriors. Ben Simmons did not play a single game last year, so still considered a rookie this year, at least to the NBA. John, what's going on? How are you? Brandon Ingram playing some good basketball. Markel Fultz. Trying to get into the action, there's Frank Tilakina, and our autograph is Bill Lambeer. Signature series, Bill Lambeer for the Pistons. That'll go to Eric Jennings. It's Tilakina for the Knicks. 
That is 193 out of 199. And Markel Fultz. Not a hollow rated rookie, but still one for the Sixers. All right. Josh Jackson, the rookies. Champions here, Sean Marion. Eric Bledsoe. I saw that, John. Thanks. Yeah, that flawless six should go should go off pretty soon. Soon after this break. It's Kyle Kuzma. There's Jason Tatum. He's the guy now without Kyrie Irving. How far can they go? There's Wilt Chamberlain's hollow. And DJ Wilson rated rookie Lime Green and Lonzo Ball. Again, this is not a not a hollow one, but not a refractor, but just want to set that couple of those aside for the Lakers. 132 out of 175 on that DJ Wilson Bucks. That'll be for Eric Bailey. Looking for Jason Tatum autographs would be Will Bartle and the Celtics. Kyle Kuzma finishing off a great season. Josh Jackson playing pretty well too. Josh Jackson again, Al Farouk Aminu, and Malcolm Brogdon back here. That's right, Eric Jennings with the Pistons bad boys for life. Uh, the Al Farouk Aminu is 38 out of 49 for Tice and the Trailblazers. So we'll top load all of these. After the break, there's the Bill Lambeer signature series. Mark Ballinger, hate that guy. Yeah, not, not exactly the most popular team outside of, outside of Detroit. Eric Jennings saying the Atlantic division may have the top three winning percentage in the Eastern Conference. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, the Celtics. How how far do the Celtics go? You think, folks, without Kyrie Irving? That's the big news. That's the big basketball news of the day. The looks like the standings. Looks like the seeds are pretty much set for the East. I guess three and four, Cavs and Sixers. That could flip around one way or the other. One and two is set. Raptors, Celtics, Pacers are pretty much stuck in the middle right there at five. And I suppose seed six, seven, and eight, Heat, Wizards, and Bucks could flip around too. So, so that could be interesting. The West is really where it's all, and then there's no other chance. Everybody else is eliminated in the East after that. So just the top eight now are just kind of fighting for for seeding. Actually, the top from three through three through eight are fighting for seeding right now. In the West. Rockets are set, Warriors are set, Trailblazers are set. But then from four through ten is basically where all where anything can happen. Jazz, Spurs, Thunder, Timberwolves, Pelicans, Nuggets, and Clippers. Nuggets and Clippers are on the outside looking in, so they could squeeze in and maybe the, the eight seed right there. That means the Timberwolves or the Pelicans can slip out of there. Even even the Spurs or the Thunder. They, if they're on a bad run in the last handful of games, that might be, not be good for them. But even the Jazz, too, I guess. I mean, there's really there's three games separating the Clippers from the four seed, which is crazy. But things have to go right for the Nuggets and the Clippers to make that happen, but stranger things have happened in the NBA. There's TJ Leaf. Rated rookie hollow for the Pacers. CJ McCollum playing good basketball. Timberwolves could be dangerous in the playoffs. That's true. John Wall has got to be healthy. The Wizards want to stand a chance. Marquise Chris Orange for the Suns. Marquise Chris. 19 out of 199. TJ Leaf Hollow for the Pacers, former UCLA guy. 
Jeremy Lamb, red. And another Pistons autograph. This time it's Stanley Johnson. 23 out of 99. Oh, no, I thought it was going to be an autograph. Not an autograph. Totally fooled me here. That's black velocity. That's what they call it. Sorry, Eric. False alarm. You still get that one, though. There's the autograph. It's Tyler Lydon. Rated rookie autograph. First break of the day. What do you want from me? Tyler Lydon, Denver Nuggets. who are on the outside looking in of a playoff spot, but couldn't get there. Maybe Tyler Lydon will be the guy that helps him. Vic with the Nuggets. Celtics are need to rely on guys like Al Horford. There's Jeremy Lamb, by the way. Red, 20 out of 99. Willie Cauley-Stein for the Kings, blue. 13 out of 49. Dan Smith Jr. Isaiah Thomas. Lakers might want to try to re-sign him a little bit on the cheap. There's Josh Hart. Jordan Clarkson, still Lakers edition on that. Actually, they actually wore those old school uniforms last night. Orange Jordan Clarkson, 78 out of 199. Of course, Dan Smith Jr. Draymond Green, All-Stars, blue. And Wes Awundu. That is number 35 out of 49 for the Golden State Warriors. Goes to Eric Bailey. Next box. Yeah, the West is all bunched up. That's where it's all that's where that's where it's crazy. So we'll see what happens. The last handful of games for the West are gonna be are gonna be pretty key. My Lakers, of course, are out, but I feel like they had a pretty solid season. All things considered. Got a lot of young guys, got a lot of minutes, and really showed them proved themselves to be uh, to be pretty good. I like Kyle Kuzma a lot. Josh Hart shows that he could at least be be a bat. It could be a great guard off the bench, maybe spot starter. Kyle Kuzma definitely starter. Brandon Ingram taking it to the next level. Lonzo Ball seems sharp at times. He'll require a little more development, but but all in all, feeling good about the Lakers. A lot of big question marks in the offseason for them. I guess it all depends on whether does Paul George opt out? Does Paul George even want to come to the Lakers? Does LeBron opt out? Does he even want to go to the Lakers? Do the Lakers want them? Do they re-sign Julius Randle? He's a restricted free agent. He's going to get some offers. But we'll see what happens in the offseason. But the playoffs, I'm sure, will be pretty exciting. John Ogre is saying that he hopes his Bucks, you know, he's hoping his Milwaukee Bucks kind of slides into that seventh spot so they could face the injured Celtics. Yeah, if you're an injured Celtics team, I don't think you want to see, I don't think you want to see the, uh, the, the Bucks. As it stands now, I think it's, it'll be the Wizards right now. But that those bottom three spots could switch. Six, seven, and eight. Heat, Wizards, Bucks. All th those three could be could be interchangeable. All right, next box. Good luck. Lime Green, Steph Curry. Thomas Bryant, and there's your auto. Tyrone Wallace, signature series for the Clippers. Facing the Jazz tonight. Clip show. That'll be for Eric Jennings. There you go, Eric Jennings. There's the autograph. Champ is here. Lime green for the Warriors. 148 out of 175. Steph Curry. There's his brother, Seth. There's Josh Jackson, the rookies. Like that Bam Adebayo. I'll sleeve one of those up, too. 
Justin Jackson for the Kings. Thirty nine out of one ninety nine. Rated rookie Bam out of bio and the rookies. Josh Jackson, that's a nice insert. Sterling Brown, Hollow, Tyler Eulis, Pink Confetti, DeAndre Jordan, Black Velocity. These the velocity cards look cool. Out of thirty nine. Especially the black. This one just looks like confetti, like like a party, like a like a quinceanera or something like that. It looks some sort of sweet sixteen, perhaps. Thirty nine out of seventy nine for the Suns though. That'll go to Michael, Tyler Eulis. Sterling Brown for the Bucks. Who could be a surprise team. There's Thaddeus Young, Lime Green for the Pacers. Nice Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. Shaq and Steven Adams. I feel like I'm under... Are we under... I, mean, I think I'm underrating the Pacers. I look at the Pacers and I'm like saying they're going, how are they 46 and 32? I know Oladipo isn't playing incredible, but just kind of look at that team. I'm like, how are they 46 and 32? Five seed. They've they've quietly played, at least to me, out here, they've quietly played really well. They may be underrated. Will the Raptors do it this year? As in, will they, uh, you know, will they get to the NBA Finals? They seem like they're they're playing very well. Their bench is playing incredibly well, so they've got depth. They uh, in the off season they 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 change their style of play, which which is. Which is great. They they change the style of play just to adapt it a little bit more to, I guess, a quote unquote modern way of playing basketball. I guess you know just lining up with with what wins these days. And they adjusted. They made the adjustments. They look great. Fifty six and twenty two, three games ahead of the Celtics. You know, so they've had an incredible season. Does that translate to the playoffs? How far do the Celtics go? Those injuries. Gordon Hay losing Gordon Hayward is one thing. Now losing Kyrie as well. That's going to be tough. Cavaliers look like they're getting hot at the right time. They're 9-1 and one in their last 10 games. They've won their last four. They're getting hot at the right time. you got Kevin Love back. He's healthy. All the, the, the two Lakers that went over there seem to be kind of fitting in nicely. You know, whatever drama they have seems to be behind them so far. <laughs> so what happens there? I mean, are they, getting, are they peaking at the right time? Sixers peaking at the right time. They won their last 12. Are they peaking too soon? 10-0 and in their last 10 games. Are they peaking too soon? Maybe. A lot of confidence, though. They're without Embiid for a little bit. There you go. Pacers. Underrated Pacers right there. Heat playing pretty solid basketball. I think even better now that they've got their, their spiritual leader, Dwayne Wade, back in Miami. Wizards. Health issues. they got to get John Wall healthy. They all got to play nice. The Bucks, the Bucks could be a great outside, great long shot to win that East too. You know, if Giannis Antetokounmpo on on the big stage, healthy Jabari Parker, put all that together. Twenty one. They got game winners on there. Brooklyn Nets. Paul Harris. And Miles Turner playing good basketball too. I guess that's part of it for the Pacers. Lonzo Ball, up and down season for him, dealing with some uh, injuries. Stanley Johnson, red for the Pistons. That's for Eric Jennings. Nine out of 99 on that red. Stanley Johnson, Ben Simmons, Lonzo Ball, just a regular base rated rookie card. This one's the hollow. 
as you can tell with the refractory sort of look. That goes to the Celtics. Eric Jennings wants anybody but the Cavs in the East. Heat Cavs, that would be that would be a great series. <laughs> ah, redemption. Anyone want to guess the redemption? You get one guess. If you guess it, I'll give you a dollar in break credit. Jason Tatum, that could be his stage now. John Wall, there you go, Wizards, red, All-Stars red. Gary Harris and Markel Fultz. Mark Bellinger guessing Donovan Mitchell. Gary Harris lime green out of 175. Thirty six out of ninety nine. John Wall and Jason Tatum, the rookies. These inserts not too common. So and I think the hollow versions also do pretty well. All right. Done on the guesses. It's going to be Rated Rookie Signatures Gold, Josh Jackson for the Suns. No one, no one got it. No one guessed the redemption. Nice one for the Suns. They were sitting there for a while. That goes to Michael Necht with that. There you go. Gold, that's got to be out of 10, right? Those are on-card autos too, Michael. Let me check the checklist really quick. I'm al almost certain that they're... Yeah, I think they're out of 10. Rated rookie signatures, gold are out of 10. Nice low number, Josh Jackson. I'll probably pay for the spot. And then some. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Also, right now, especially if you're not in this break, probably a good time to double check to make sure that you are live, folks. Double check the uh, the live next to your volume button on YouTube. If it's gray, if that dot is gray, then you are lagging behind. That's not that is not good. You will not be able to, to successfully play the redemption game if you are. Uh, Your, if, your dot, if that dot is red, you're fine. That's all I was going to say. Next Redemption will double at $2, if you guess it. And it's, you gotta be, you got to make sure that you're live, because I'm taking the first guess. So, so for example, if it was Dylan Brooks, unfortunately, Alan would not get it. He, he was, it was, that was the second Brooks. So just... Just laying down some of the early ground rules for the redemption game. So now you're thinking, boy, do I have to wait for the rest of the break? To... Will Joe keep doubling the money if people don't guess it? Maybe. So yeah, so you got to make sure you're live and make sure that that you're the first answer. Like for example, Alan. <laughs> I was like, dang. Uh, like if you see someone who said Brooks already. Right, like Arthur had Dylan Brooks for just make another guess before I close the redemption guest window. Hey Barr, what's going on? All right, good luck. Halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you for hanging out with me. Got plenty to do this week, so or tonight. There's Dylan Brooks right there. Plenty to do tonight. So keep your spots and teams going on jazbeeshobby.com. 125 out of 199, Dennis Schroeder for the Hawks. Jason Cox with the Atlanta Hawks. 
pockets are going to look pretty good. Unless there's like the classic Chris Paul injury before the playoffs or during the playoffs. Poor Chris Paul. Ben Simmons. Markel Fultz and Tyler Dorsey for the Hawks. Nice rated rookie for the Hawks in the pink velocity look. 73 out of 79. Fultz, fix that shot, Fultz. Fultz and Ben Simmons. That could be pretty, that could be a pretty crazy lineup there. There's Lonzo Ball. <laughs> fix your shot too, Lonzo. It's not that bad. I mean, I guess he's dealt with... See, here's the difference. Markel Fultz, Lonzo has been with that ugly shot since he was a kid. Like, he's kind of used to it, right? In his weird way. Like a, like a sidearm pitcher or like a sinker, like a, like a submarine style pitcher. Markel Fultz actually changed his shot after the draft. That's the problem with Markel Fultz. Why are you doing that, Markel Fultz? Shot was fine. That's what got you drafted. Now he's effing with it. Don't eff with the shot. Leave it alone. Leave the shot alone. Leave Brittany alone. All right, there's Pau Gasol Silver. There's Laurie Markin, and we're looking for his autograph, too. Willie Cauley-Stein out of 199. There's John Stockton, high shorts and all, out of 175. Lime Green, Chandler Parsons for the Grizz. There he is again. And, oh, delicious, delicious bacon. Dwayne Bacon. Rated rookie on card autograph for David Shaw and the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets. It's all for Shaw. Charlotte. There you go, Dave. Chandler Parsons, Lime Green. Those are out of 175, boys and girls. 166 out of 175. So is Mr. John Stockton. Retro series. I kind of like this retro series set. Insert set. 119 out of 175. Orange Willie Collie Stein. Kings of Gold looked pretty good at times, actually. 005 out of 199. And EA looking for that Lori Market and autograph. He wants to see that face, this card with his ink right across his waist. So a lot of boxes to go. We'll see what happens. Next box. Good luck. So who does everyone have in the finals? Let's just let's just jump right ahead. I know not 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 a shot has been shot in anger in the playoffs, but I'm kind of glancing on on here, it's probably the Sixers are probably gonna win everything, right? And before you think I'm crazy, nobody thought the Eagles were gonna win. It's this is Philadelphia's year. Nobody thought the Eagles were gonna win. Boom, Super Bowl W. Do people think Villanova are going to win? Maybe. That's a, that was actually a little more of a favorite. <laughs> They're definitely favorites. But Villanova won. Philadelphia's 76ers. 76ers time. Sixers are going to win. It's their year. Then, then the Flyers are going to win the Stanley Cup. And then uh, Phillies are going to win the World Series. There you have it. You heard it here first. It's Philadelphia's year. And for that payment to the devil, I'm sure it'll be decades before any team wins another championship again. All right. Good luck, everybody. We're going to lead off with Yusef Nurkic. He's going to get paid. Get some offers out there. Donovan Mitchell looking good.
Big Bar saying, put some more baseball tribute. Put some more baseball tribute. Put put it where? There's plenty on the site right now. Blake Griffin, 61 out of 79. Clippers, pink velocity. There's Blake again, Thomas Bryant, John Stockton. Sixty-one out of seventy-nine on that Blake, and we've got Ek Anibogu signature series for the Pacers. Jesus with the Pacers. There's Malik Monk, rated rookie. Wilt Chamberlain, lime green, and JJ Barea. For the Dallas Mavs. I don't know why I top loaded that, but 14 out of 199. That's what we'll do with all of them later. Will Chamberlain. Out of 175. And Malik Monk Silver. For the Shaw Lit Hornets. I think you might have to get the Hornets every time, David. Stack here. Red James Harden. There's Orange Julius Randall. Jared Allen. Well, Nick, if you help sell out the current tribute, I can post more so you can get your Tigers. That's the best way. Sell out the brakes, I can post more. There's Dwayne Wade. Lime Green. 66 out of 170. This is still Cavs edition of Dwayne Wade. James Harden Red. 44 out of 99 for the Rockets. That'll be for Jeremy Tillman. Antoine Moore back there. That was your autograph. Pacers, congrats. Next box. I feel like we haven't seen a big rookie auto yet. right? Oh, we saw Josh Jackson, actually. He was a redemption. Let's forget about redemptions. If they're live. It sticks in my head a little bit better. All right. Good luck. Ah, <laughs> nice, David. He likes the pun. What about uh, the Shawshank Redemption? We should, we should get some. Yeah, if you get a redemption, David, it'll definitely be a Shawshank Redemption for you. I like that. We, we can make that work. Absolutely. Come for the break. Stay for the puns, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more in the store, boys and girls. I see four orders coming in. We've got more basketball in the store. Donruss Optic Basketball. I feel like we can knock out another one tonight. Maybe maybe for the last break of the night, perhaps. It'd be a good time to do it. So we'll, we'll uh, like, Donruss Optic Basketball is like bread for a sandwich. The meat of the sandwich will be flawless football, of course. Do some flawless football, maybe some tribute baseball, you know. But then we, we can bookend those with uh, with this Optic, which is our first break of the day. This is Optic picking team two. We could knock out another one later tonight. It's, usually, it's a long break like this is usually a pretty chill way to end the night. It's relaxing, chill. It's still a week night, still a school night for a lot of people, so perfect way to end the evening. All right, we've got Jim Jackson. Ooh, is that it, Eric? Jim Jackson, lime green. Red, Rodney Hood. De'Aaron Fox, the rookies. Bam, we got it. Lori Markinen. 
Rated rookie. That is for EA. There you go. A lot sooner than the last time we had a basketball. <laughs> the last big basketball release, I think it was like Select or something like that. We went through like, how many cases did we go through, Eric? EA went through like the Bulls six, seven times? <laughs> something like that, something crazy like that. No Lori Barkin an autograph. Maybe at the very end we got one. But we got this one out of the way early, Eric. So it's good. It's, good. it's a good sign. It's gravy from here on out. There's Jim Jackson, Lime Green, S out of 175 for the Mavs. Out of 99, Roddy Hood. Did we get at least one out of select? Or did we get zero out of select? Op Optic treating you nice, much nicer already. What a great season for Laurie Markkinen. I feel like he came out of nowhere. Otto Porter Jr., Lime Green, Bam out of bio for the Heat. Um, he did kind of come out of nowhere, right? It took a... Uh, it took a fight in the in the Bulls locker room where someone, Bobby Portis, I think, broke someone's jaw. Miritich is just someone, something like that. Some sort of fight, some sort of broken bone. And they're like, well, I guess we got to get Lori Markin in to play, you know, 20 minutes a, a, a night. Okay, he's pretty good. 23 minutes a night, 25 minutes a night. It just kept going, and then next thing you know, he's having a pretty pretty solid season. The value of his stuff has, has shot up very early in the season and has been pretty good since. There's Rajon Rondo, orange. And a nice, the rookies, hollow. Hollow. Nice. These are pretty cool. Suns. Michael Necht with that. You got the autograph and now you got the hollow Josh Jackson. I feel like I feel like you're up. Covers the cost of admission at, at the very, very least. Probably more than that. Pelicans, Rajon Rondo out of 199. And the last bit here. Justin Jackson, rated rookie, hollow. Hollow. And Harrison Barnes for the Mavs and Zach Collins rated rookie. We'll see one of these up too. I wonder if they if they could Blazers may like Zach Collins enough to let Yusef Nurkic walk. Should be crazy. I feel like I feel like there's some some cap issues there, but I was told by some Blazers fans that they would they they'd figure out a way. They'd make it work. Like no way they're letting go of Nurkic. Oh, Joe Kavanaugh says, what what break is the roast beef in the sandwich? I don't know. So if this is the delicious, delicious sourdough bread of the sandwich, I guess, I don't know. Flawless is pretty, pretty, pretty meaty. All right. Get some flawless in there. Some nice, nice meat. High grade roast beef. What's tri and I want maybe we'll do a tribute too. What's tribute? Tribute would be like a nice uh, a nice cheese, perhaps. Maybe I don't know, just a, a fancy cheese. I don't I don't know cheeses, but but uh, but a fancy cheese could go in there. Maybe some brie or some uh, I don't know, nice. gouda. Some high quality cheese. Yeah, or maybe a good pepper jack, Nick Bar. Yeah, uh, good, uh, good pepper jack in there. Well, this is pretty expensive roast beef, though. Like this is we're talking, we're talking about high grade roast beef. This is not just like. Some roast beef that you find at your local, you know, sandwich shop. You know, this is like you're going to like some fancy, uber expensive groceries. You're going to like a Whole Foods or something like that or Bristol Farms or something. That's where you're getting that roast beef and that cheese. 
Swiss Lorraine, yeah. Let's throw some of that in there. There's a cheese shortage somewhere. I don't know. We'll look that up after this break. Terrence Ferguson, rated rookie. There he is again. A couple for the Thunder. There's Laurie Markkinen again. Found him. These inserts are great, folks. The reason why we're kind of setting these aside is because they all you can add all these up. They all they all carry value. Trevor Ariza, four out of thirty-nine. He'll carry value. Black velocity. I like that. I hope, I hope they use that more. I like those squares. It looks like looks like Tron. <laughs> four out of thirty-nine. Remember Tron? Remember Neutron? Remember Ultron? Who remembers Ultron? Ultron's weird. It's pretty pretty odd. Neutron's okay. Robert Ori, champ is here. That's right. Robert Ori, love that guy. Sterling Brown, lime green, rated rookie for the Bucks. Sean Kemp, that'll go to the Thunder. Justin Patton, rated rookie, hollow. Michael Kidd Gil Gilcrest, orange. And John Collins for the Hawks. Rated rookie autograph. There you go. Jason Cox with the Hawks. Yeah, it was... Is it the worst Disney movie ever? It, I, I mean... I think revisionist history, TJ, has definitely been kind to that movie. You know? Especially with the hipsters these days. You know, they'll be like, oh, yeah, Tron. You know, they'll, they'll wax poetic about, about, about Tron. 112 out of 199, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, orange. Justin Patton, hollow for the Timberwolves. Lime green, Sterling Brown for the Bucks. That'll be for Eric Bailey. That's out of 175. But I don't think, like, I don't know, maybe 51 out of 99 on that Robert Ory for the Lakers, EA. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a generational thing. Maybe I, I just missed that Tron, uh, that Tron boat, because I was never really into it. Oh, it was that. Who voted that it was the worst? It was just out there. Some poll said that it was the worst Disney movie ever. All right, see, that's the argument I get, Mark Bellinger. They're like, people are like, yeah, high concept stuff, 1982, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I, I don't think I get it, Mark. I don't, think I, I don't think I get it. I get this. This I understand. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just a square. I'm just a mainstream square. I tr I tr I've tried multiple times, too. And I was just like, I... Also, the same with <laughs> this might this might uh, hopefully this doesn't offend, offend movie buffs out there. Uh, Blade Runner never got into Blade Runner. OG Blade Runner didn't even see the new Blade Runner. Like OG Blade Runner, so I've got buddies who are just like, "What are you talking about, Joe? What do you mean you can't?" I feel like Blade Runner be right up your alley. You know, like it's weird, it's artsy, it's you know post-apocalyptic kind of future stuff. Robots and Harrison Ford. You like Harrison Ford? And I'm just like, I, 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 I'll try it again. It's been a while actually since I've seen, since I've seen it, but I, I gave it a, I gave it a shot as like an adult. You know, so Mark Beller said Blade Runner moody and beautiful, but it can be boring. Maybe I maybe I was just in the wrong mood to watch Blade Runner. Maybe I need like a rainy day to watch Harrison Ford run through the post-apocalyptic streets of Los Angeles. Eating weird street food. All right, here we go. Jordan Clarkson leads us off. There's De'Aaron Fox. Fox in the box. Haven't seen his auto yet. Nice, hollow, swishful thinking 
Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Drew Holiday's been playing some good basketball. Out of 175 for the Pelicans. Antetokounmpo, swishful thinking. And just a regular the rookies, De'Aaron Fox. Markel Fultz. Mark Glassman looking for the auto of the Fox in the box. There's Trevor Booker. James Johnson, blue for the Heat. And 32 out of 39, Black Velocity, Powell Gasol. Centering off on that a little bit? <laughs> Feels like it. 32 out of 39, that goes to the Spurs. Little Oppo Joe Mojo for Eric Legal. Well, I'm a former Laker, so I suppose he's acceptable. And Jared Allen is your autograph. Nice. Jared Allen gets on, gets on the highlight reel pretty often with, with his big monster dunks. Could be a player. Paul Harris, Brooklyn Nets. Lime Green, Rudy Gay, and Caleb Swanigan, rated rookie. Out of 175 on that Rudy Gay, Spurs. James Johnson Blue for Jen. 7 out of 49 on that one, Jen. James Johnson. We'll see a lot of these teams in the playoffs. Playoffs. See Jabari, healthy, a healthy Jabari Parker in the playoffs will be good. DeMar DeRozan. Lonzo. Simmons. Devin Booker, Orange. Derek White, rated rookie, hollow. Wayne Selden. Hollow, rated rookie, Spurs. Once again, Eric Leal with that one. Devin Booker, Suns. Suns having a nice break. Out of 199. You know what? I did not, Eric Jennings. Out of 175, DeMar DeRozan for the Raptors. We'll see him in action, Jeff Goldenthal. Raptors. I like the Raptors in the playoffs. I did not see The Godfather in chronological order yet. I want to. I need to, I need to do that. Two boxes to go. Because I think it would be interesting. I'm, I'm a big fan of The Godfather. Sometimes if, if I get my voice right, I can do a good... Uh, if I get it warmed up nicely, I can do a good Marlon Brando. What a great movie. If, 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 if you have not seen The Godfather, ladies and gentlemen, maybe you're, maybe you're a little bit younger. The, I'm speaking to the kids in the audience. Tell, ask your parents, hey, Joe Jaspi from jaspyshobbyland.com in Redondo Beach, California, case breaker extraordinaire, says, and, and pop culture enthusiast, says, hey, go see... Uh, can I go see The Godfather? Can we rent The Godfather? Have a nice little family thing. Order some pizzas. Get some snacks. Knock out Godfather 1 and 2. You don't need to see 3. It's okay. You can see that later. That's pretty good. It's a little long. But if you if, if you uh, if you like gangster movies, old mob movies, or like that genre, I think you'll like it. Oh, Mark Bellinger. That's the... You got you got to put it on the list. You got you got to move it on the get it on the list. It's on it's on the flicks. It's on the Netflix. There's no excuses anymore. Just fire it up on the Netflix. They've got one and two on the flicks. And if you haven't watched it in like, let's see, I, I usually I usually have a rule that says, hey, if you haven't watched a movie in like over. Five, seven years, something like that. It's almost as if you haven't watched it. You got to rewatch it. So if you have not seen the movie in like seven years or so, it's worth a rewatch, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the it's like the wire. Every once in a while, you know, every every 
few years or so, I'll be like, yeah, let, let me fire up the wire. Season one, ep one, and just go nuts. The wire is good too. The wire. Kyle Kuzma, lime green. At a 175, EA lo looking to have a ball. Lonzo ball autograph. Or this guy, or Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, screenplay is fantastic, TJ, for Godfather. There's uh, there's some great bonus features in the Godfather DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever you have where they have uh, uh, Godfather author Mario Puzo chatting with Coppola about how they about how they knocked out that screenplay. You know, they got, they got it down really nice. Amir Johnson. A lot of great stories behind that movie, too, out of 199. It's sort of like Star Wars, where, where, where the studios, silly studios, were like, yeah, don't think Star Wars, I don't know if these guys are going to work. Who's Mark Hamp? Blah. Same thing with Godfather. Studios, or like different studio, though, Paramount, I did Godfather. They were just like, I don't know about that Al Pacino. Who is this Al Pacino? <laughs> you know, who who are who are these guys? I don't know. So there's Ben Simmons Blue, nice. Sixers with that one, Mark Lassman. Uh, so there was a lot of a lot of difficulties on the set. Thirty three out of forty nine. A lot of second guessing of the director, of Coppola, of the actors and all that stuff. But I think it worked out okay. Next autograph is Zach Collins. Rated rookie autograph for the Trailblazers. Tice on the board with an auto. One of the 12 in this case. Paul Westfall. What do you think, Tice? Do they, do they keep Yusef Nurkic? Can they afford to keep I know they want to keep Yusef Nurkic. Do they have the cap space? I think William L. was saying, they'll make it work, Joe, don't worry. 62 out of 99, Andrew Wiggins, and there's Jabari Parker. I think the concern is that a long-term contract for Yusuf Nurkic may, may, you know, kind of restrict other dealings that they could do in the future. You know, maybe, maybe they could get more guys without a Nurkic contract, I don't know. We'll see. Trailblazers having a great season, though. Let's see what they can do in the playoffs in a tough, tough West. All right. Last box. We made it. Good luck. Only one redemption? So much for the redemption game. We have to do another case of this so we can play the redemption game again. If we do another one today, we'll start the first redemption at $2. We'll double it if someone doesn't get it. I guess... I guess you could... Uh, could gamble on not guessing at all. As a group, just not guessing on the first couple redemptions at all. Until the, redemp the guess the redemption value gets to like 8 10 bucks. And then try to guess it. But then that then you're banking on more redemptions to pop out of the case. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't really seen we've seen some nice stuff. We haven't seen like a big OMG hit yet out of here. Josh Jackson is pretty solid, but Lori Barkin is okay too. But we haven't seen anything big no no big Lakers hits. No big Celtics hits. No Donovan Mitchell. No Dennis Smith Jr. autograph. Still have this box to go, but it's been a it's been a solid case, but nothing. No no big OMG hit. So let's see if we can find that OMG in here. Man, packaging is terrible this year. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Last box. No randomizer or anything like that either. There generally isn't in this stuff. Marcus Aldridge, Hollow, Rick Berry, DeAndre Bembry. 
Yeah, we had a couple tra out of five train whistles in the last case, too. No train whistles in here. Miles Turner, orange. Pacers, with that one, Jesus, with the Miles Turner. 107 out of 199. There's Lori Markin and Dan Sell. And behind Buddy Heald is Jonathan Isaac. Rated rookie autograph hollow for the for the Steve Stone for the Orlando Magic. Steve Stone with the Magic. There you go, Steve, on the board as well. There you have it, folks. Solid stuff, but there's a Ben McLemore for the Grizz. There's LeBron James. I feel like we kind of missed the big hit out of here. We should do another case. 7 out of 79. Ben McLemore for the Grizz. Let's see if we get some low number parallels out of here to close things out. Magic Johnson, hollow. Malcolm Delaney, lime green. Damian Dotson, rated rookie, hollow. Donovan, we got a cafetina's autograph. And Trevor Ariza closes things out. And there you have it, boys and girls. Well, that's it. Solid case. Good stuff. Josh Jackson, Lori Markinen, et cetera, et cetera. No train whistles and nothing really huge. Maybe it's in the next case. Let's keep hunting, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com, home of the big hits. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.